Hi YouTube, it's Vanessa and I just came home from work and wanted to share a wig with you. I haven't done a wig review in months, probably what, six months? It's been quite a while. Um, I bought this wig, this is the very last wig that I purchased in April and this is by um, Newborn Free. Sorry for sucking my teeth like that. It's from Newborn Free. Uh, the Magic Lace, and it doesn't have a name, it's just called ML22. ML22, and I bought it in a color number two. And again, this is the last unit that I bought this year, and I bought it in April. I wore it one time. So now that I've decided to get back into wearing wigs, I wanted to come and share this one with you because I really, really like it. Um, it was on sale on clearance because it was the last one and I don't know if she's ever gonna get more of them in um, so I'm gonna have to go and look for this one I saw it online but it was a lot more expensive online I really really love um, the cut of it it's kinda got layers in it um, so it's not like really full with the hair around the face. I like that it's sleek here on the top and the curls are just in the bottom and there's not a lot of hair. If you can see, it's, you know, not a thick wig at all, but I like that. Um, to me, it looks a little bit more natural, as natural as it can be for, you know, having this type of hair. But I mean, say if I was to have a weave, this would be the density um, that I would want my weave to be. It's it's just not it's not too thick. It's not too long. It's the perfect length. I really really like it. Um, another thing I like is the uh, the um, lace that's here. I don't know why I can't think and I can't talk. Probably because I'm tired and because I haven't done a wig review in so long. But anyway, um, I like the parting space here. I like the way it looks. Here in the front when you pull the hair back of course when you get down here towards the ear it doesn't come all the way down to my ear so my natural hair is exposed a little bit but no one will see that it does have the um, bendable ear tabs to keep it snug to your head here it has let me see where are the combs I don't use the combs so there's one in the back I don't know where the rest of them are. I don't think there are any in the front. That's weird. Um, but yes, I like the way the uh, hairline fits very close to my head here. I don't know if you can see that if I'm pulling it back right. I think it looks really good. Of course, like I said, until you get down here. Um, what else can I show you about this wig? That, because I really, really love it. Oh, I know what I have to show you. And I have to, I had a little bit of shedding, not much, and I'm sure because it's new, it's going to do a little bit of that, and, and then it's going to stop. I've had quite a few that have done that. Done some shedding, and then this thing, this hook is stuck in my hair. I've been fighting with that all day today, so to figure out the best way to um, deal with that. What I wanted to show you is that it is hand tied. Do you see that? It's a stretchy cap and it's all hand tied. It does have some tracks sewn in. Let's see if I can show you. At the base there, this is like right at the back of the head where the tag is and there's a comb right there. So there's tracks that are sewn in right here I'm pretty sure yeah those tracks are sewn in but on the sides hand tied in the back of the head here all the, the crown it's all hand tied and then of course the very top would be ventilated you know hooked with the little teeny ventilating needle to hook it into the lace and the parting space is pretty deep. I'd say that's about three inches of parting space. Can you see that? 
it goes pretty deep. So yeah, I really, really like this wig because it's light, it's comfortable, it's got the stretchy cap. Um, so that makes it a lot more comfortable, the stretchy cap and air getting through and everything. I really, really like this wig and I hope that I can find another one. I'm not going to make this video long. I just really wanted to show this wig to you and just to help me get back into doing reviews and um let me just put it back on for you and i will i just love it love 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 this unit i love that it's not puffy anywhere it's not you know how sometimes you can get those wigs and they're really tall up on the top of your head right here it's not tall it fits real nicely to my head because of that stretchy cap um i just wanted to show you the length i hope you all can see that i got a little bit of a tangle there and it did pretty good today it didn't get too tangled up like i said this is the second time i wore it first time i wore it um i had it on briefly in vegas when i went in um april and um that was it but i think it is so so cute I like the layers. I like the uh, soft flouncy curls. They're not tight curls, so you can really run your fingers through it and it doesn't ruin the style of the wig. The um, off-center part I like. The hairline. And we've got some hair underneath here. There we go. And the parting space. Um, I'm not really sure if I should. You know, a lot of times ladies will put some concealer or some foundation that's the same color as your foundation in that part. I don't know. I don't think it looks too bad. What do y'all think? Do you think I should put some concealer or foundation in that part? I kind of think it looks alright like it is. But um, let me know. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching. I am back with my wig review. So what I'm going to try and do is at least one a week. Um, if I'm not able to purchase a new unit, a new wig each week then I'm going to do a review on an older one because goodness knows I've got enough of them that I've purchased over the past few years so I can do an update on an older one that I have but again I'm going to try to get back in here and do at least one a week again thanks for watching until next time bye <laughs>